Nowadays, off-grid installations rely on diesel generators as the main backup power solution, causing greenhouse emissions as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxides and other particulates, as well as noise contamination, while having operating costs dependent on the volatile diesel market. Renewable energy, such as solar and wind, is becoming increasingly competitive against traditional solutions for off-grid applications. Unlike grid-connected systems, their economic justification is not influenced by prevailing electricity tariffs or fuel supply costs, but supply intermittency and availability, that have to be matched with suitable storage systems in order to provide a good alternative to the classic diesel generators. Green hydrogen production by means of water electrolysis has been proposed as a feasible solution to fill the gaps between demand and production. By introducing electricity and water into the electrolyzer, hydrogen can be obtained. Off-grid electrolysis and hydrogen storage have the key advantage of being able to manage both the long-term and short-term transient variations in renewable supply, whereas batteries cannot manage the seasonal variations unless very large battery stores are specified. The main underlining purpose of the LE4 OFF project is the development and demonstration of an autonomous off-grid electrolysis system linked to renewable energy sources. This project is funding by FCH, JU2, a public-private partnership between the European Commission, European Industry and Research Organizations, which since 2008 has financed 245 projects with a contribution of more than 900 million euros. The particularities of the project are essentially off-grid and being exclusively sourced by solar power. These two aspects force the system to work at high efficiency at any load. The solar profile during the day is variable, with a peak in the central hours, so the system is at full capacity for only a small part of the day. The system faces not only the naturally day-night variations in power output, but also random interference due to atmospheric conditions, such as passing clouds, covered skies, fog, and snow. The system consists of 62 kW peak solar field, 50 kW hydrogen generator and a 96 kWh battery buffer that serves as an electrical energy storage. The electricity generated by solar panels is used by an electrolyzer, supplied by ITM power, to generate hydrogen from tap water. Power coming from solar cells needs to be quickly absorbed by the stack, that has to be able to efficiently produce hydrogen at a wide range of incoming power levels. One of the partners of the project, Epic Power, has developed a novel and flexible direct connection between the solar field and the stack, both operating in DC. This configuration improves the efficiency compared to the current solution of solar inverter followed by a rectifier. The gas is then stored at 20 bars and either it is used directly in other ongoing projects at Aragon Hydrogen Foundation, or it is compressed and stored at high pressure for a subsequent use. To keep the system safe during low solar radiation periods, the Aragon Hydrogen Foundation devised a hybrid energy storage backup system, based on a battery bank, complemented when depleted, by a fuel cell generator, using stored hydrogen, to dramatically increase its autonomy. The overarching control system developed by Inicom guarantees safety at all times. It integrates all the sensor data and controls the operation in real time. The demonstration period of the system lasted seven months in Huesca, Spain and produced a total of 413 kilograms of hydrogen. The last month of the period was exceptionally productive, achieving 95 kilograms of green hydrogen. 
Different actions to improve the control system were carried out during the initial phases of the demo period, allowing full autonomy in the final stages. The results confirm the fulfillment of the intended objectives, dynamic and fast hydrogen production, high efficiency, excellent purity, robustness, safety, flexibility and autonomy. How far is this solution from the market? At a 7, in a scale from 1 to 9, meaning that some work is still needed to upgrade it to commercial scale. To bring this technology to real-world implementation, three business cases have been concluded by SIA, covering isolated site electrification in Tenerife Islands, and Edinburgh, Scotland. Also, gas grid injection in Millau, France, and Shetland Island in Scotland, and finally, mobility applications in Millau, and Hoffen, in Iceland. By extensively demonstrating the reliability, robustness and safety of the system, it can be concluded that LE4OFF is a viable solution for green hydrogen off-grid installations.